I did the case study on William Billy Stark. He was a middle school student at Southview Middle School. Um, before he came to this middle school, he was actually expelled um, from his last school. Um, Billy had a behavior disorder. Um, he grew up um, with a mother and a father, but his mother actually had abandoned him and his dad at a, at a young age. So I think a lot of the reason why he had this behavior disorder had a lot to do with um, his mother leaving him. You know, he felt abandoned. So before he came to this school, the school was obviously um, warned about Billy and his behaviors from his last school and being expelled. So they were a little hesitant on how to work with him. Um, so the principal, uh, Mr. Stark, um, thought it was best to, you know, get the teachers together and discuss a plan on what would be the best way about dealing with, you know, a child with behavior disorder. Um, Billy was typical behavior disorder. I mean, he, he looked it. He, um, you know, he came to school scrawny and over bad clothes. Uh, his hair was jet black. Um, he obviously looked like an outcast. And, you know, just by looking at him, you could tell that, you know, he had something wrong with him just by looking at him. You know, he wasn't very, he didn't have any friends. He didn't really talk. He just kind of kept to himself. So... Um, the principal um, got together with the teachers and thought it was best that <clears throat> they try to work with him in a teamwork kind of fashion. Um, <clears throat> they had the counselors. Um, they wanted to get special education teachers in to help. Um, they also wanted to try to get some tutors because Billy was well below grade level. Um, in, in all of his academics, and so they wanted to get some of the tutors to help. Um, the, the principal thought it was the best idea to put him in a classroom with a teacher. Um, his name was Mr. Banta. Um, Mr. Banta was kind of a low-key kind of a kind of a teacher. He didn't, um, he kind of, he, he worked well with students that had, you know, anger issues, and he, so they, they felt he was best to, um, to have him in his classroom. So, Mr. Banta would work with, with Billy, but, I mean, the, the first day of, of school, Billy was caught smacking a student, and Billy denied it. Uh, later on that day, uh, Billy was caught smoking by the janitor. Billy denied that. Um, and so, the teachers were starting to have, you know, they were questioning whether any of this was going to help him at all. Um, they actually tried putting him more into the special education classroom. Um, they felt maybe he would be better off in that classroom with that teacher who, you know, who is uh, used to dealing with these types of students. Um, but it, it, Billy didn't do well in that either. Uh, she tried doing uh, what Maslow um, discussed was the... Um, uh, his, his Maslow's hierarchy describes a downward spiral of lack of, of success. Uh, the learning theories, um, behaviorisms, and constructivism uh, attempt to explain ways of dealing with these types of students. Um, the, special the special education teacher tried using um, the behaviorism, um, using rewards and privileges, but Billy would take advantage of the rewards. Um, for instance, if Billy went to, um, if, if Billy was able to um, use, a, use a computer for, you know, he, he did something great and so the teacher would let him use the computer on, um, on his free time. You know, he would make fun of that and say the computer wasn't good enough or it wasn't nice enough. Um, if the teacher allowed him to go, you know, to leave the classroom for five or ten minutes for a break or, you know, to go to the bathroom or something, he would get caught smoking. And so he just always, um, he, he took advantage of what the teacher was trying to do for him. Um, and then they tried using the, um, the constructivism um, to try and see if that would help. Basically, um, these were activities that would lead to him um, having, you know, self-fulfillment and satisfaction. Uh, the teacher would um, show him videos of 
groups that he thought he that she thought he would like, you know, like Kurt Cobain or and he would make fun of that. Um, she would want him, you know, to write stories about them or draw pictures about these types of rockers and he would make fun of that. And so nothing seemed to be helping. Um, they ended up um, bringing the father in and discussing it with his father. Um, and then they, then his father decided to um, take Billy out of the school and move closer to um, more family in Indiana to see if maybe the family would help. Um, later on, that they, um, the school actually ended up finding out that uh, Billy ended up um, going to juvenile detention center, and then they lost track of him after that. So, um, you know, I, I don't really know what would be the best um, options for these types of, of students, or, or for people in general. Um, it seemed like they uh, they did try using several different methods. You know, they they tried doing you know teamwork. They tried doing um, you know, I feel like they did do, you know, what they could, and what's even more amazing is, you know, not a lot of these schools will take the time to work with these types of students, and Southview Middle School did, and the teachers kind of came together to try to work with him, but I think Billy was such a severe case that not even, you know, you know, not even what they were doing was, was, was going to help him, so...